A big question is, should you get a coronavirus test before going back to work? The president told ABC News, if you want one, you should be able to get it. Way 31's Will Robinson-Smith is live in Huntsville with just how realistic that is in North Alabama. Will? Well, today, Huntsville Hospital CEO David Spillers says it's not unless the federal government is willing to foot the bill for it. Today, Spillers says that he called testing anyone who wants a test not practical. He says that's both inefficient as well as insufficient. Spiller says also, even if you test negative one day, it doesn't mean you won't contract the virus days after. And because of the way test samples are taken, many people probably won't want to be tested on a regular basis. Spiller says he wants to see more reliable antibody tests instead. I think everybody will know, do I have any antibodies or not? And from that, we can determine how many people really have been exposed to the disease and start doing some, some find some real statistics on how infectious this was and how, how deadly it was. And Spiller says the tests themselves are not cheap and in fact can cost up to $100 a pop and that testing everyone uh, for free is not sustainable in the long term. Reporting live in Huntsville, Will Robinson-Smith, Way 31 News. Thank you.